What's up everybody? In this video, I want to show you how to revoke smart contract allowance or token approvals from your Ethereum address. So as you can see, I'm on MetaMask website, I'm on their support page, and this is actually information from their help desk that you can revoke all approved tokens or all the approvals that you have been made previously. So let's say, for example, every time you use your MetaMask or maybe other client, and every single time you've used it somewhere, you went in back and then you disconnected. Like for example, in my case right here, if I press on these little three buttons and then connected site, as you can see, I'm not connected to any sites. Close this, I'm gonna copy this address. So if we scroll down, as you can see, it gives you different platforms that you can use to revoke. So this video tutorial, I'm going to show you this one, first one revoke, and then I'm going to show you the other one coin tool. So with the first one, if we're going to go to revoke, this page will appear. Then what you do, you press on connect wallet, and then this window is going to appear. You'll have to connect your MetaMask or any other wallets that you're using and then press next and then connect. Okay, once you're gonna connect, it's gonna analyze and it's gonna show you every approved token in your MetaMask wallet. And what you can do, you can press on just revoke. And then once you're gonna do that, again, MetaMask page is gonna appear or whatever client you're using. And you can scroll down and you can confirm the revoke. But since it's an on-chain approval transaction, you're gonna have to pay gas fees to revoke that and especially if you are using your main wallet that contains a lot of crypto or maybe nfts i would recommend revoking every single approved token that you approved previously so in my case i don't have any crypto i'm just going to reject but then you'll just have to confirm and it's going to revoke that specific approval and then next time when you're going to refresh this page it's going to be removed from here or it's not going to find that specific one the one that you just revoked so this is one of the tool that i would use to check your wallet and revoke and then if we go back here as you can see there are many other tools and then i'm going to show you coin tool so the reason why I really like Coin Tool, so with Coin Tool, you don't have to actually connect your wallet. What you can do, choose your chain, Ethereum, or actually they have a bunch of other chains in here as well. And then paste your address here. Since I already copied, I'm just gonna paste it and then press on this little arrow like go. And it's gonna scan and it's gonna show you every approved token that you have in your wallet. I found all approved tokens in your wallet so then you what you can do either right here connect your wallet and then it's gonna let you to revoke so let's do this really quick i'm gonna connect my wallet then next connect you can revoke here same thing when you press on revoke you have to pay gas fees but the reason why i really like coin tool you can just paste your address and check it out without even connecting to the specific website because if you just don't want to connect your wallet to every random website that's the other way how you can check if you have any approved token in your wallet and let's say for example if you don't trust any of the websites that metamask recommends or the one that i just showed you there's one more thing you can do you can actually go to directly to etherscan and i'm going to leave link in the description below it's etherscan.io forward slash token approval checker and then in here same thing connect to the web3 so you'll have to connect your wallet and in this case we're going to connect metamask okay now we have to approve our wallet connect okay once wallet is connected you're going to be able to see which tokens are approved so in this case as you can see apecoin is approved and you can switch to erc721 and erc1155 so that's nft tokens and if we press on it same thing again as you can see it did found all the other tokens that the other websites found there is a revoke button if you press on it you'll have to pay a little gas fee to revoke that but you can do that over here as well and then erc1155 i don't think i have any of them so that's another way if you don't really trust any of the websites like third-party website then you can go directly to etherscan and check that from etherscan and this is pretty much it all the websites that i talk about in this video 
and a website to MetaMask help desk. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And if this video is helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.